Hey everyone, it's Olivia and welcome to today's video. Today I am doing episode two of DIY dorm decor and today we are making these adorable hanging shelves. I seen this on somebody else's YouTube channel. They were redoing their room and they purchased these hanging shelves and I thought, whoa, I could make those instead of spending the $40 to purchase them. So today I'm gonna show you guys how you can make them for your room or your living room or your dorm room. They can be placed anywhere in your house. They're very versatile and they're very simple to make. So let's just jump right on into it. So the first thing that you're going to do is get your wood ready and measured. So I had some leftover one by sixes by eight feet laying around in the house. So you're going to get your measuring tape and mark out 17 and a half inches from the end and then you're going to get your saw ready and start cutting. So you're going to repeat that cutting process twice to get two 17 and a half inch boards. you're cutting you're going to drill the holes so to do this I got the size of the rope that I was using and matched it up to a drill bit so I used a six millimeter drill bit and then we just drilled holes one inch from the edges so you're going to do that by measuring one inch from one side and one inch from the second side and where they meet you're going to mark an X and then that's where you're going to make your drill hole. So once you've got all four drill holes you're going to start sanding. I just used any sandpaper that I had laying around the house. It doesn't matter. It probably does matter um, but I just used whatever I had. Whatever you have lying around the house or if you want to get technical with it and um, get a certain grit go right ahead but for me I just had this sanding block so I started by sanding all of the edges that I had cut and any rough parts of the drill left and then I got a thinner piece of sandpaper and I rolled that up I ripped pieces off of it and I rolled it up so that it would fit into the drill bits and then I just sandpapered the inside of those holes so that it wouldn't rip my cotton rope sanded the holes it doesn't have to be too much just as much as you think uh, it's going to not catch anymore then go over it again with your sandpaper just to make sure that there's no rough spots and that you can run your hand along smoothly without getting any pricks of wood <music> completed the sanding process you're going to move on to painting or staining um, whatever color works for you so for me I did a white wash and a white wash is just mixing one part paint with one part water so I just got a small plastic container and I filled it up with half water and then I mixed it with this paint that I had around the house you guys can use whatever paint you have as long as it's made to go on wood. You can also stain that if you wanted to do that. You can totally do that here.
once you are finished painting, you're just going to let that dry. I left it dry overnight, so a little over 12 hours, I believe, that I dried it for. And then you're ready to start putting the rope in. So the things that you're going to need for this part is some rope, I used cotton rope, some tape, and some scissors. So you're just going to take that rope off and get as much as you think you'll use. So I kind of just eyeballed that and just took quite a few off. And then you're going to tape the ends of the rope and this is to help you weed it through the holes so that one, it doesn't rip from where you drilled, but also it cinches the end so that it's a lot easier to put through the holes. Now this step takes a little bit of time. You do have to wiggle it around and twist it in order for it to get through. But once you get it through, you're going to mark where you want the knot with your thumb and then you're just going to tie a really tight knot. And then the next step is going to be estimating how tall you want it. So I just eyeballed this as well. I didn't have any certain height I wanted it, but if you guys want specific measurements, I made it one and a half feet from the board to where I hung it. The next step is going to be cutting the string a little bit longer than what you think you're gonna need, and then you're going to tape that end and wiggle it through the next hole that you need. And this is going to be the back side of your shelf, so just make sure when you are doing this step, you keep that in mind that the side that you're working on is going to be against the wall, so you want the prettier side of your wood to be on the other side. So once you've got that through, just make sure that the length that you want is perfect. You're going to put your thumb where it comes out of the hole and then pull it down a little bit, make that knot real tight, and then pull it back up and you have got your first rope done. So for this next step, you're going to hang the shelf on the wall. This is just to help you level it. So I started by putting the second string into the front holes. Uh, you do this by taping off the ends again so that they're not uh, fraying. And then I hung it on the walls and leveled it so I knew exactly how much string I wanted. So I trimmed it off here a little longer than I thought. Then I had to tape the ends and weed that back through the hole. And because I made the holes about the same size as my string, the, the string didn't really slip out when I put it through and didn't have to knot it, so that helped me level it so I left it untied and put the level on and then leveled it up and tied the knot and then once it was all level I just trimmed off the excess and I have my finished project. I think these shelves turned out super great. They're super cute and they're going to match the theme of my room and they're also really lightweight so I can use them with command hooks so I don't have to worry about putting holes in the walls of my dorm room. So I hope you guys like this video. Please make sure to like it, it really helps me. And make sure you subscribe to my channel as I'm coming out with lots more university and college content. As I am a freshman, so I have lots of stuff to buy and lots of stuff to do. If you haven't seen my DIY decor episode one, make sure to check that out in the description below. Also make sure you go follow me on my Instagram at it's Olivia Perrin. I would love to have more of you connect with me and be able to ask you guys questions that you would like to know about me. But that is now the end of the video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next week. Bye!